Did Ed's disability ever get him down? Steve O'Connell, Boston, he would, um, Massachusetts. A lot of times when we traveled, uh, he used a, he slept in an iron lung at home. And the iron lung gave him a good night's rest. And when we were on the road, he used this thing called a portable tortoise shell respirator. And it literally straps onto your chest only. And then it has like this giant vacuum tube that went into the middle of it and it would pull your chest up, which makes your diaphragm draw and push it back down. And it wasn't real comfortable, but it allowed him to travel. Without it, he couldn't travel or he'd have to set up an iron lung somewhere, in which case he, that wouldn't have happened, he wouldn't have traveled. So that allowed him to travel, but it didn't give him a good night's sleep. And some of the trips we took were a little too long. And uh, he, um, he would get run down physically, um, and, and that would make it hard for him. But almost never, um, uh, uh, I shouldn't say that. A, a lot of times, too, uh, especially in the airport and on the plane, he would get hit, and he would get pretty angry pretty quick. Um, you know, Ed was a post-polio, um, and so he had feelings in all his extremities. And if somebody, um, he felt pain all the way through his body. It wasn't like he had a broken spine and couldn't feel anything. And if he got hit or he got whacked, it hurt and he didn't like it at all. <laughs> you know, so, uh, um, you know, he would get pretty angry sometimes at people being careless, like in an airport and getting whacked with the back of their bag or something. Um, you know, so being tired and being on the road, he wasn't always at his best, um, but even then physically when he wasn't at his best, very rarely did he seem to get down about his disability. He, he was down about being tired. I'm exhausted. You know, he wouldn't say, I'm, I have polio and I'm exhausted. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm in this wheelchair and I'm exhausted. He, ten day business trip and when we traveled on the road, he'd start his meetings at seven in the morning, they'd finish at five, he'd do the dinner, you know, business meeting, dinner thing and come home at midnight, 11, be back to work at 7, anybody that's going to do that for 10 days is going to be tired, you know. So even that didn't seem to get him, get him down that much. So uh, he, he, did, he was pretty positive most of the time.